Well, hello there and welcome to Travels with Geordie. If this is your first visit, my name is Peter Knowles and I live on this classic wooden motor cruiser currently in Lund, British Columbia, along with the loving memory of my pup Geordie, all the while fixing it up for some pretty major cruising someday. If that's the sort of thing you might find interesting, please consider sticking around and subscribing. You know I'd love to have you. I mean, to get my boat, MV Jordy, up the coast, Sunshine Coast, as far as Lund and, uh, and hopefully beyond is just wonderful. But more important than that, the young woman who you're about to meet is here for a week. And look who's here! My daughter Erin has come to visit from Nova Scotia. Anyway, um, I can't stop laughing because uh, this is actually the airport she leaves from in a week. But anyway, I thought since we never actually shot it, we'd do it now. So we got a great week ahead. Um, where where did I actually pick you up? Vancouver. Vancouver, exactly. <laughs> and uh, we got to cruise up the Sun Coast, and yeah. we don't know how far we got. Yeah, we don't. Oh, yes, actually, we don't know yet. We don't know. No, yet. no, we don't yet. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, again, through the magic of video editing, uh, we were able to simulate this arrival. Let's get on with this week. <laughs> and good morning. We're so excited. We're going to spend the day biking around Vancouver, um, which is always fun, on our little vintage Raleigh's. Um, and that's going to be a great day. And I think we might take in, where are we going to try and take in? Go to the aquarium. Vancouver Aquarium. Yeah. Anyway, we'll take you along. Cheers.
don't know if you can actually hear me, but I am standing on the pierhead here in Lund. And the neat thing about this pierhead, in other words, this dock, is I am standing on the very, very end of Highway 1. Yes, the highway that runs down the west coast of North America and South America. So this is mile zero of Highway 1. So for those who have a determination or an ambition to drive an entire length of Highway 1, you're going to start here. And more than few people do. Every day, at least in the summer months, there's more than a few Harleys that come down here, do the loop, and uh, big high five, and off they go. Anyway, so a windy day here in London. It's windy, isn't it? Yeah, it's windy. Anyway, too windy to go out, so we're going to go for a walk today, but I just thought I'd show you uh, a little panorama. I've never actually stood here and showed you from this point in Lund. And Jordy is tucked in over there. And uh, it doesn't look like much, but it's blowing 30 knots out there right now. And I'd rather not have any of that right now. Um, so here we go. Up the hill past the old historic hotel of Lund, uh, which is closed for the season, as well as the quite tasty pub that has a terrace there, which is kind of a shame. And uh, we'll see what we can find. I just ran into Megan and Tony, which is really, really neat because a couple of weeks ago, you may have remember, I featured this uh, town site's brewing uh, Thaddeus. Whoa. Okay, now that is a really powerful beer. I can hardly catch my breath. Thaddeus, Thaddeus, Thaddeus. How do you pronounce it? Thaddeus, I think. Thaddeus, which uh, was really, really awesome. And it turns out here in Lund, I ran into them and Megan is the artist who actually painted um, uh, this this bottle as well as the logo but actually logo. not this bottle oh not this one okay <laughs> Sorry, <Tony>. <laughs> many <laughs> many <laughs> of the town site <laughs> bottles in the That's past right. and future and present yeah. anyway Megan Megan's uh, is an artist uh, here in uh, Powell River and uh, has an Instagram page I'd like to send you all to there'll be a link uh, down in the comments below and it was really really great to run into them nice to meet you today well very good cheers to you both we're all there. Well, we haven't shot much in the last couple of days, mainly because we're... What have we been doing? Having fun. Having fun. It's well, we have been having fun. <laughs> of course, we share that with you, but the fun has been mostly just hanging out and chatting and basically escaping the wind. Right? Yeah, having a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. <laughs> been up to the bakery a few times. Yeah. Exactly. So today, though, we thought we'd actually get some work done. A project? Yeah. What's the biggest problem with this boat? It's loud. It's noisy. It's very loud. Very yeah. noisy. We spent 10 hours in the very loud. Yeah. That's right, the other day. Very true. And in fact, many, many comments have pointed out, Peter, when are you going to put some sound insulation in? So are we going to put some sound insulation in? I guess we're going to take that care of that today. Yeah, well, partly. Anyway, it's a multi-phased approach. Uh, Aaron is standing on top. Uh, most of you will know of where the engine bay is. And that engine bay will actually become a fully enclosed, of course with some ventilation, uh, engine box which will be fully sound insulated. Well we can't do that today. But one of the major problems is rattling, especially at lower RPMs. Uh, the harmonic of the engine at diesel, at uh, idle, is remarkably close to the perfect harmonic to make everything in this part of the boat shake really noisily. So one of the first things I thought we could do is grab a whole lot of this um, weather stripping gasket type material and place it between the structure and the plywood sole to somewhat reduce that rattling. And I have it. It's available. It's relatively easy except for the moving everything around all the time. <laughs> so basically it's a Tetris puzzle of moving stuff around. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say but just get on with it. I, I, we'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll see. Here. Yeah, this is significantly improved. Cool. 
or what? One of the things I love about Lund, but one of the things I love most about Lund is I have some wonderful friends here that I met through Lady Zephyrus and just such interesting people, which I'm going to introduce you to in a minute. In fact, some of you who've been watching for a little bit of time will have already seen Hugh. He did feature playing his cello on the foredeck of MV Zephyrus last year. <laughs> something special that he's just acquired that I'm going to show you. My very good friend Hugh Pritchard here, who uh, runs a uh, outdoor, outdoor, what do you call it? Outdoor adventure learning, outdoor, outdoor adventure education. Learning, education. Obviously, a big part of it is kayaking, kayak rentals, and other sorts of you know, like zodiacs and stuff. You chase people down. We with. take people out on multi-day and single-day adventures yeah. into the fabulous beauty of Desolation Sound. All right, and right. Terra Centric. Terra Centric is the name of our in, business. In Lund, British Columbia, which is the end of, well, you know where we are now. The beginning of the road. Exactly, the end of the road, the end depending, depending on where you look at it. Exactly. But what we're talking about together is this. Can you see it? <laughs> Hugh, what is this? So here we are, we're standing, Peter, uh, at, at the stern of the Anthony J. Waddy, which is a 34-foot uh, uh, bilge-keeled uh, uh, a uh, junk rigged uh, schooner right and this uh, this boat was uh, ostensibly built over the last 35 years but never launched and here we are we're standing at the stern of this incredible vessel which is really a time machine yeah. you know that uh, you know it was built built over the last 30 34 years by a gentleman named Anthony J Waddy who the boat is named after and never launched but uh, is, is, is here in our in our yard waiting to be launched where it will be you know the, the last of its finishing details will be completed and we hope to see it splashed in the next year awesome i only had to be looking at that boat and talking with you for a few minutes to realize i want to do something a little more significant with that boat so we sat around for a little while we shot a fair amount of footage all on the phone that i'm currently shooting this on and i'd like to put together a bit of a little documentary for it a little i don't know what it's going to be called and i don't know what i'm going to do it but I'll let you know, and uh, if you're curious to know a little more about that boat and the very, very interesting way it's come into Hugh's hands or back into this neck of the woods, the boat's never been in the water. They started it 35 years ago. Amazing story. Anyway, I'll let you know when it's ready to watch. And here we are, by the miracle of modern transportation technology, I was able to drop Aaron off in Powell River and catch a flight down to Vancouver, which meant we didn't have to steam all the way back, which we never would have made it anyway. <laughs> uh, because we're sort of marooned, or at least now I am sort of marooned in Lund with the weather. But it was so great to have you. Yes, very great to be here. Come again soon. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. It was really, really, really yeah, good fun. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Well, hello there, and welcome to the Travels with Jordy bug of the week and this week I am joined by my daughter thank you so much for participating yes absolutely excellent so what do we have this week uh, this week we have a Mexican spice flavored Tenebrio Molitor which we got from the Vancouver Aquarium um, and it is basically a slug no a it's a it's a mealworm um, mealworm beetle it's a larvae a larvae of a um, of a uh, of a mealworm beetle. Anyway, I'm I'm really excited about this. Yeah. Um, because you know we've uh, we've had various approaches at this sort of thing in the past, and uh, I think it's time to finally uh, dig in. Yes, absolutely. So what kind of week have we had? Oh gosh, um, a lot of swimming, a lot of being in towns. I know you've spent a lot of dock time oh, paying. Fair amount of dock time, topic. exactly. Um, but uh, very good. Um, the weather hasn't been the weather's been good, just very windy. So we haven't had a lot of. Ability to go places. Let's see what kind of pour I can do here. Oh yeah! Oh, brilliant! Beautiful! Looks yeah. So far, so good. Degree angle. Yeah. Excellent. Degree two, degree Down two. the side of the glass. Yeah. Beautiful. Excellent. Oh yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Excellent. Well, a little, uh, a little 
a little swilled oh. to to, uh, to let them oxidize a bit. Yeah. Oh, look at the legs on that. Lovely yes, legs on that, isn't it? Exactly. Full body. Yep, a true entire body. Mm, exactly. Mouth, yep. Quite something on the nose too, I'd say. Yep, yep. All right. Yes, I mean the Mexican spice. I'm also curious about how that's going to affect the the whole flavor. You know. Well, cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Not, I, I not would, bad. I, I would say just not, not just your average bug. No, really not. Yeah. Actually, I would say I'm that's kind of. I will have another. I will have another sip of this. Yeah, exactly. Right minutes. after I have this sip of beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Mm, not that beer means anything in the context of. No. no. Dab it up. Mm. Anyway, um, absolutely fantastic, and uh, and and cheers. Yeah. Cheers. All right. Well, right we have a, we have a little um administrative stuff to get through here. Uh, last week's winner of the Travels with Jordy t-shirt was uh, Tyson uh, Carswell. So Tyson, get a hold of me, and we'll make sure you get your Travels with Jordy uh, t-shirt. Oh, and cheers to you, Tyson. Mm. Mm. And, uh, so grateful, uh, a few new patrons came aboard, quite a few actually, in the last week or so. That would include um, Motor Vessel uh, Hyperion, uh, Carl of Sweden, um, Anders Anderberg, and Philip Hilgersham. Thank you all so very much for coming aboard. Mm. And cheers. Cheers. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Um, hang on just a moment. Mm. All part of the process. Yeah, still got a couple of sips left. Yeah, still have a couple of sips of that left. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay then. Well, Aaron, we need, uh, as you may know, a word of the week because I give away a t-shirt every week. So yes. have you thought of a word of the week? I have. And it was inspired by the weather that we've been having. Right. The word of the week is wave. Wave. As in either a wave or a wave. Wave. Or... No. Yeah, I'm out though. Oh, well, let me help you out with that. <laughs> there you go. Now I'm out. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, fabulous. All right. Use the word wave in a comment down below and uh, you'll win a Travels with Jordy t-shirt. Or if I pick two, you will. Excellent. Well, um, there we go. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, to, cheers, cheers to all that. Exactly. <laughs> you know what, though? They're not bad. Oh my god! That, that, honestly, they're not bad. I'm gonna eat these. <laughs>